What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here, and uh, I've been getting a lot of comments asking about how to connect remote play to uh, specific devices. So I thought I would start that off by doing a new tutorial on how to connect remote play uh, to another device. And in this case, we're gonna be using a phone. Um, in my case, an iPhone 11. But this will work on Android just the same. And uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and go from there. Before we get started, I want to give a quick shout out to Ms. kick 2 s Todd M, and Rob Leslie. Thank you so much for the support. If you want to support the channel, click on that join button below. You'll get access to all the live stream archives, emotes, and shout outs and videos like these. So uh, let's go ahead and open up Steam. And of course, there's updates because Steam has nearly daily updates. <laughs> I would argue sometimes multiple times per day. All right, so we'll close these ads. And we are in my Steam library. So let's go ahead and go into Steam up here and go to our settings and make sure that Remote Play is properly set up. All right, so in the Remote Play tab, we're gonna enable Remote Play up here. And then we're gonna set a security code and something that's easy to remember. And that way, if we need a security code to start any game, we can just enter that on the device. Then we wanna pair Steam Link, and this can be done with an actual Steam Link console or just Steam Link on your phone. Uh, so let's go ahead and pair Steam Link. And it's going to say authorized device. Enter the authorization code showing on Steam Link. So um, in Steam Link, when you open it on here, we're going to go to settings and click on computer. And then we're going to scan for computers running on Steam. And I'm actually going to choose other computers since mine's already paired, just so you can see the full process. So it's 5150 here. And now it is paired directly on the computer. Um, as an added bit of security, if you don't want it to automatically show up like mine did, you can actually um, set this to only show on my devices. So it will not show up unless you've actually paired it to your computer. That's kind of a, a good one to recommend there. Um, now we can go ahead and go into the advanced options. And this is something that we can choose to enable or disable certain settings. So for example, play audio on host. Do we want it to play on the computer when we're on our phone? Probably not, so we're gonna disable that. And then um, we can change the desktop resolution to match our streaming client. Um, I generally don't do this unless the resolution um, scale is really off. Um, I like to leave that off, but if you're seeing some um, tearing or uh, stretching happening then you could try doing this it generally won't run as well because sometimes phone screens are very hd in comparison um and then dynamically adjust capture resolution to improve performance um i like to enable this just in case it starts to lag you can um, keep frame rates up by dropping the resolution temporarily if you have an nvidia gpu you can enable um the nvfbc capture um, which is direct capturing and recording from within the card itself the card hardware um and if you don't you can choose which hardware you do have. So I have an AMD GPU, so this is um, hardware encoding for AMD. Um, you can also choose how many threads you like to enable for encoding. I leave it at eight, but automatic works just fine. And then prioritize network traffic to make sure that it gets prioritized if you have that setting on your router. Um, you can also um, choose options to stream to this computer, but we don't need to set these since we're streaming to a phone. So let's go ahead and click on OK and go on our Steam Link on our phone. All right, so we're on Steam Link and everything is connected. Everything looks like it's running good. So we wanna start playing um, Dirt Rally. I have it loaded up here. We're gonna click on play. And it says, enter the code on your desktop. So I'm gonna put 7166. And then enter a pin. And that is the pin we set earlier. And it is now loading up Dirt Rally onto the device. 
And we'll wait for it to start just so that we can make sure that everything works. So it is running on my phone. It's not maximized because I actually am using a secondary recording software to record my screen as well. But you can see here, it is running well on the phone. And we can interact with it on the phone itself. Let's enable touch controls. You can see that we have touch controls on the phone itself. So we can uh, press A to start, for example. And we do have audio coming from the game. Let's turn that down. And um, yeah, if you want, you can even get a Bluetooth controller and uh, pair that with your phone as well. I have a video on how to do that. And you can actually play it um, using a game controller. And if you have a device um, like this, you can actually connect your phone to your controller and use it as a sort of screen. So yeah, um, that's about it. I don't want to overcomplicate this video, but if you have any questions on the specifics, let me know in the comment section below and I'll make a more specific video or try and answer it there. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Peace. What? You've never heard of stream savers? And you thought PewDiePie was the only YouTuber to make a game? I made a game too, and it's called Stream Savers, and it's available for pre-order right now for $9.99. And that's a great price.